Welcome back, and it is time to talk to the Talanta FC team. This is a football club that was set up under the auspices of the State Department for Sports Development. And what was the whole story? Through the National Youth Talent Academy, players were to be picked from around the school and then their skills and their talent developed and they could pursue their trade elsewhere. And to speak on my extreme left, I've got Abdullah Juma. He is a person who's been in Kenyan football for quite some time. Abdullah Juma, Karib KBC. Welcome to KBC. Thank one. you very much. And we've got the captain, Patrick Mushiri. He's the captain of the side. You were there when it all started. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Very good. And we've got one of their attackers, Job Tino. Welcome to KBC. Thank you very much. All right. And I'll start with you, Coach Abdallah, for the, uh, the last six years, what has been the story of Talanta FC since it was set up you know, through the Talent Academy and also now ha ha being a club that is now playing in the second tier of Kenya uh, football? And first, we want to appreciate because uh, Talanta is one of the academy that helps a lot of players to achieve their, to achieve their purpose. And when you look, many players, they have come from Talanta and now they are earning, they are playing big professional matches. Mm -hmm. So when, we come, when I come in Talanta, in fact I come to Talanta when Masood was going outside, and uh, Masood Juma, Masood Juma uh -huh. and uh, Kabaito, when we started last year. But unfortunately I'm very much happy, helped by the board of uh, uh, Talanta and the CAS, Keja Academy of Sports, uh, Dr. Dr. Paul Toragat, uh, combining with our, our, Ninile, our board of governor, uh, of which it is been led by uh, or not one, uh, the, the, it's Ms. Uh, Ms. Wanjiro Mahiho, the lady that he, she likes football very much, but we are happy with him. For this year, before we started, in fact, we started very well. Uh, though we lost some two to three players then again, going to the high level, that is uh, Rio and, and Mongai. But I'm very much happy we have performed well and we are moving well in the league. All right. And Mushiri, you, you are the captain of the side. Um, Job, you could uh, hand in the mic. Mushiri, you are the captain of the side. And throughout you know, the six years, you were in the first lot that came in. What was your experience being picked, you know, to join Talanta FC and also having, you know, an opportunity to go through the years? Yeah, it's, it's been a great journey. Uh, I think I'm having, I'm enjoying my life here. And uh, it's all good to, to be in, in Talanta. We, we want to, to take this team to another level. To oh. coach. Mm -hmm. Think we we All right, and coach, let me come back to you. Yeah. How do you do the selection of the players who you pick? Because this is actually a development. It's, it, sure. it's based uh, on development. We, some of the time we go outside from to the counties and to the secondary schools. We do some, some recruitment. We, co we went around the, the counties in Kenya. We went around to secondary schools when they are national national ball games, we select the players, uh, we organized uh, two to three weeks how we can do our recruitment in Kasarani. So they all come to Kasarani, uh, I don't do the, the selection by my own, I just call some of the coaches whom I know, like Okumbi, uh, like Okumbi, like the one now we are having Chaka to do the selection for two weeks. Now we come with the, with, with the number, the one we like, 60 to 50 players. After that one, now we come strongly finding the best player who can play in the, in, in, now in the NSL. All right. Jo Job, how, tell us your story, how you were selected and what it feels like to be part of Talanta. Okay. Me, as a, I was selected in the year 2012 during the Sakata football team, football tournament which was uh, being sponsored by Safaricom. Uh, we were selected from Eldoret. We won the Safaricom Sakata football and came to nationals, of which we won the nationals. And uh, from there, we were picked like uh, seven of us from GFE 105. And uh, we were taken to academy from there. And uh, we, we were put together we are having we we used to have uh, friendly matches like uh, exposure to uh, between us and the premier leagues and uh, it is uh, it has been uh, something good and uh, it has given me 
so much experience and I'm very grateful to be here. What has changed as far as for you as a footballer by being at Talanta or being at the academy? How, that, how did that change the way you play your football? Okay, me being at Talanta is not the same way I used to play maybe when I was in GFE 105 Eldorette because uh, at Talanta things are being run professionally. And, uh, okay, explain uh, run professionally so, run. That, you know, we, so that people can understand. Okay, profession, by professionally, I mean, uh, like uh, maybe when I, ca when I came from, from GFE 105, we just used to come maybe in the evening, kick the ball, anyhow, and uh, from there you can just go back home. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but here at Talanta, yeah, there's a time limit, then uh, we, we have to train, and... Uh, Things are uh, maybe when we are training, the coach is there. But when we are at the GFE 105, maybe today the coach is not there. We are we are training all players alone, and uh, yet I'm being paid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that one has really changed my life. What I'm wearing, what I'm eating, and uh, I'm even helping some other people behind. The scenes. Yeah. Let me come to you, Captain. I mean, you've, you understand this. Um, of the players that you have been with, who do you think, what is the challenge that you get from those players? Um, first of all, thank you for that question. And the players that we've been together since 2012, um, they're challenging me on how to improve on what I'm doing, my dreams, to make my dreams bigger, to dream big and to work on them because I've seen them succeed. succeed. Yes. Now, name names at this point. Okay, we've been with Eric Kapaito, Masood Juma, Bill Oporia, who is in Tasca, Aziz Okaka in FC Leopards, yeah. And Farouk Shikalo in Bandari, see. And so, and what challenge does that offer to you? I'm challenged. To, to work more harder, to be where they are right now. And for you, what's your target now? Because you know, you can't be at Talanta forever. Of Talanta course, of course, yes. My target right now, I want to work hard as the leader of this team, as the captain, to make sure that we achieve our goals and dreams, and that is to go to Premier League, Kenya Premier League. Okay. Coach, now this is a question everyone's asking. For yes. the years that I've been there, and you pick the best of the talents in the country. Sure. And uh, I'll, I'm, uh, through the school games and you know, scouting through the tournaments that are there, how does Talanta now move forward and become a Kenyan Premier League club? Uh, in fact, that was our dream already. We have tried to achieve for it. And as you can see, from last year and this year, there's a very big difference. Because when I come in, I just uh, pick the players. And after picking the players, I try to make the players, to make the team that can move on can move on to the to the Kenya Premier League. So, as if you can see, when this season starts, the transition a 2018-2019, the team that uh, I, the team that I consisted that that team, I just I dropped two players. I dropped two players. I bring in only two players because the team had already starting jailing. Because uh, when the team was not performing well, I just talked to the management because I want the team to perform and to make sure we. We achieved our purpose. We went, we went down to the, to the bonding, bonding, to bonding mm -hmm. team. So we went to Kuala. After Kuala, the team really worked very well. After that bonding, talking to the player and the official talking to the player, we finished the league in number nine. After that, we went to Kikoso. The first time, Talanta to go to Kikoso and to go to the final. It was a very big achievement. And since that time, from Kikoso up to now, Talanta is moving very high. You can see how it's performing. Good players. We have some two to three players in the under 23. You can see how the players, everybody is looking now to Talanta. We, we are really making the name uh, this time. All right. Tino, I want to ask you, um, you've, you know, in conversation with you, you told me you just come with an injury. And at the moment, it said, the NSL, quite competitive. We know as it or control, uh, you know, 
together with the new setup and ownership, already they, you know, they've got a great hold on, of, uh, you know, on that national uh, super league. How competitive is this league for you? And if Talanta was to go to the Kenyan Premier League, would it offer a challenge to the teams that are there, especially the mid? Uh, no, can it offer a challenge to KCB, Sony, Chamelil? For sure, it can. And uh, we've been playing, like I said, we've been playing friendly matches with these Premier League teams. And uh, we, we played with Karyobanke Sharks and we challenged them. The, the first friendly, we, we defeated them 2 1. We played with Madare, Madare, Madare United. The first game, we defeated them 1 0. The second one, we drew. So uh, I believe the players that we have, we are up to the task, even if we enter the Premier League. Sure. And for you as a leader of the squad, and you know this is, you know, it's through the Kenya Academy of Sports, so there's a lot of study and backgrounding. What is it that you'd like to tell to anybody who'd like to join Talanta FC? Okay, first of all, <coughs> I'd like to urge players who want to join Talanta. First of all, Talanta is all about discipline. You can't have your talent and you are in discipline. You, you will go nowhere. So first of all, you have to, to be disciplined, work hard, and I think the sky will be your limit. And for you, Coach, uh, one question is always asked. How yes. do you continue with this program, knowing that there are talent centers set in different schools, sure. uh, depending on the sport, sure. and also the Kenya Academy of Sport, it incorporates the Talent Academy, there is also going to, I mean, and other things. How do you bring out the whole concept uh, that is under that to ensure that there is, you know, something that's continuous and it can spread out? Sure. In fact, uh, we have some we have some directors working outside the outside the Talanta, whom we are always we are communicating with. Uh, example: We are having one in Kwale, we are having one in Kakamega. We are having one in Mombasa. So those directors, they always uh, communicate with us. We normally go there. Even we go there and train, and train those boys and try to scout, uh, to look uh, a player who is ready to, to come to the team. And the big chance that we are having and we are proud of, it's that Akakoro. You have heard about Akakoro. Yes, Academy Akakoro. A very good Akakoro is one of our partnership, a very big partnership of which we are very proud with Akakoro. We combine it with the Okumbi. We look at, by now we are having how many boys playing in the national team at the 20, we have two. And now again, we have four in the main team structure. They are real player and they are very good player. So we normally look outside, look outside. For now, because here we just look even the age. We just look at the age. Because when you take a player uh, when, he, when he's young to come to Talanta, it's so easy to make him to make him because you, as you can see Talanta is a team that consisted 85% with young players with only 15% old players and if they are old they are only 24 26 but majority majority in Talanta they are 18 19 uh, to, to 20 and as part of I mean um, I'll come to you captain Mushiri what is it that you do given a chance to work with coach uh, Abdallah here what is it that you do on the ground, you know, if there is scouting or whenever you're going to play or going to watch the matches, what is it that you do, having learned so much from Talanta? Um, first of all, working with Coach Juma Abdallah is a fantastic experience because one, he's an experienced coach in Kenyan football. So I guess working with him is it's easier because he understands so much about Kenyan football. I know what he wants. So it's very easy to work with him. Given an opportunity, supposing that you're given an under-15 side to manage, what is it that you would do from what you've learned so far? I'll definitely manage. Uh, what is it that you would do? First of all, you have to understand those are kids. And kids like more of fun games. And coach has been teaching us all about fun games, all about how to approach kids and so, so on and so forth. So I'll, I'll definitely take the challenge and uh, I'll be proud of it. If you asked to go back to GFE 105, what's the first thing that you would want to see change from where you came from? Because GFE 105 gave you the platform. What would you do from what you've learned at Talanta? If I was to go back to GFE 105,
first of all, I will, I will go back with my experience that I've earned from FC, from FC Talanta and uh, try to tell the players that, uh, like my captain said, it's only uh, hard work and discipline and you will be where you really want to be. And um, I'll try to give them the trainings that I've been seeing from my able coach, uh, Jum Abdallah, yeah, and uh, the, how the club is being run. And I'll just tell them that uh, time is ovation. So it's not all about that uh, the coach must be there. We can just come together, train, and uh, I know things will run well. One of the things that people talk about when they talk about Talanta and something you've mentioned is the risk of the whole concept of Talanta, you know, getting lost as in the pursuit of glory. Would you keep maintaining your current format where you pick youngsters, you know, teenagers, people who are 18, 19, basically under 20s, and who are the crop or probably the emerging crop in the country, vis-a-vis -vis signing in players from outside the system? What's the risk? Does that, is there that, does that risk exist for Talanta? Yes, because, because one thing, you should have their philosopher. And you know, in Talanta, our philosopher, there uh, we just uh, think about or work about with the technical and uh, tactical work. That's the, our, our, our philosopher. So when you go outside and pick some, some players from outside Talanta, you just pick a young player who has that capacity who the players, in small young players, they can see and learn out of him. Like the one I told you, like, like Musa, like Akina Osodo. So when Akina, Akina Kama and uh, Akina Tinyu, they saw how Akina Osodo they play, now they can follow. Because they are, they are there to groom them, for them to see them. Because when they inaugurate, I'll just remove them. The next set, it will be Akina Tinyu and will be Akina Mushiri, who will be the the club owners there, they will be, they try to run other players who are coming inside. Because whenever we stay with the, the old players, they always go, they always go, they always go. Club pick them and then go. So you ought to take risk. First of all, it's just to take risk with the young players, show them, train them well, instill them the important thing right. for, for, for their... And coach, and what about hiring players from outside the Talanta system? What is the, would that affect what you're doing at the club. In fact, it really affects because you, you bring a player with a different philosopher in what we have been, been teaching the, the team. So before he gets in, we must, take, we must try to train him to understand because one, one thing, he's good when I take him to, to, the, to the team. So we must train him to, to abide with that uh, philosopher before, uh, before we put him in the, in the system. All right. Tino, final word. Where do you want to see? How long, how much longer would you like to be at Atalanta? Because I know some, there are people who are coming in and will push you out. Um, I've, I've, I've already gone out of Atalanta and just came back. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know Atalanta is not where I really want to be forever. I want to see myself, at least in the Premier League, maybe come next season, if I'll not uh, take Atalanta to the Premier League. All right. Captain, where do you want to see Talanta at the end of this NSL season? It's a transitional season, it's been tough. But oh. where do you want for this season and the next? I think for now we're looking to play in, in the playoffs. We're working hard to, be, to, to get to the last three, the, the best three, top three. Okay. So we're working hard and I know we're going to be there. So if we, we, we become number three, definitely we in Premier League. All right. So there you've had it from the mem th uh, some members of the Talanta FC team. It is a football club that is under the auspices of the sports depart uh, department and they fall under the Kenya Academy of Sport. They're playing in the National Super League. Today they had a one-all draw with City Stars. Yes. So that was in the match that they played today and they've come from the grounds and they've joined us here KBC Channel 1. Thank you very much, Job Tino. Thank you very much, Patrick Mushiri. And thank you very much, Coach Juma Abdallah, for being with us in... Thank you this chart about sports and what needs to be done. And the question is, Talanta FC, will it continue developing talent and will we see them in the Kenyan Premier League? That's it for our interview this evening, as far as sport is concerned.